we're going to be looking at the Hollystone HS710 drone um, and talk about why you should not buy it. So it is $219 right now and it has a 4K camera and it's a GPS. Uh, it says 5G quadcopter. Um, we're going to go back to that in a second. Uh, optical flow positioning, auto return home, follow me. Uh, basically the very basics. Now this 50 minute long flight time, don't let that fool you. Uh, it's 50 minutes per battery. It's just about, tw it's actually 20 minutes per battery when you fly it. Now the remote is very small. There's nowhere for like a lanyard. Um, it folds up pretty nicely just like the drone and it comes in this nice carrying case. So the case itself is pretty nice. The battery swapping is pretty nice as well. The foldability of the quad is also pretty nice. Uh, there's only two lights on it, so there's one here, one here, and then the four battery lights in the back, the LEDs tell indicating the battery health. Now, the actual camera is bad, and we have recordings on it we're gonna take a look at in a second, but it is pretty bad. Now, the design is pretty smooth. It looks very aerodynamic. Um, it just, it looks nice. It's a nice looking quad, um, but that's about it. The camera can move up and down. The motion of it is pretty smooth, actually. Um, we have ultra, okay, this is a good reason to buy it. If you want a drone that has all of these features in it, the only reason why you would want to buy it is because it's less than 249 grams and there's no FAA registration required. But a drone that you have to register with the FAA, it only costs like $5 or $30. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it, if you're buying this drone just to buy it for the FAA registration or to avoid it, I would not. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's not that big of a deal. The lightweightness of it is pretty nice. It's super lightweight. It does have a lot of features. The RTS or the RTH return home does work. The RTH uh, button works well. The lights you can see on the back for the battery. Those are the ones I was talking about. Um, and now let's talk about the 4K camera. It definitely does not look like that. It does not look like that whatsoever. The follow me works well as well, but the 4K camera is bad. Also note with the follow me, there's no obstacle avoidance, so there's that. Um, it does have a lot of good reviews on Amazon, but the camera is awful. So if we're to actually look at the camera, here are some clips from it. Uh, there's also no onboard microphone, so it's not going to pick up any sounds. Um, we can see that it looks like there's a lot of sharpening. Um, I think some oversaturation, I'm not huge on cameras. but. You can see the big issue is it's not stabilized whatsoever. It looks like it has some kind of shock absorbent system inside of it, the camera module. But if you look at this, there is nothing smooth about it whatsoever. You can see that even when I'm like still, it's bouncing, it's bouncing. Um, it, this was not shot on a very windy day and it is just bouncing. You can see that's not very watchable. Um, not watchable whatsoever so that's the first clip there's this next clip again just hovering in the air it's it's really awful now is the camera sharp yeah you're gonna be able to pick up some details like over these houses you can see um that you can see that the difference in the coloring when the camera points up and down uh, from the sunlight but you can see the actual houses here are very sharp the trees you can make out what they are and so that is not an issue um, you can make out people, you can make out cars. The issue is just watching the footage. The camera quality is just not good whatsoever. Uh, it's not very pleasant or enjoyable to watch because of how shaky it is like this. Also, um, I don't know if it's just my screen, but there's it's like a lot of lines and like artifacts on the actual video itself. So, I for $250, um, it's on sale right now, actually, so for $220. Um, is this something I would ever buy? No. Um, in fact, I would save a... And another thing that's bother is that the range is not very good. Um, we've... I don't know if it's our specific model that we got from Hollistone, but when we're flying it out, even with max range settings, because you have to actually go in the app, 
and unlock the longer range. If you go in the app and unlock it, um, it will still run out of range for the remote controller and it uses Wi-Fi to send to the phone. So it is not very strong signal wise. Um, you'll start to lose signal, break up, and you're not even that far. So the camera is bad. The signal is bad. Uh, it's a very small drone, super lightweight. Uh, it's pretty durable. It's not my drone, but the person who flies that has crashed it quite a bit. Um, does it have strong wind resistance? Not really, it kind of does, uh, but if you look at the camera, no, not whatsoever if you're trying to get nice camera shots. Um, the batteries, again, are very easy to use, but this is not a drone I'd recommend buying because of the horrendous camera. The signal loss is just insane. You cannot fly that far. Reasons why you would buy it is because it's portable and it's lightweight. Um, it's a nice drone to fly around with, but it still has its limitations camera-wise and range-wise, so you're not going to be able to fly it very far. And it is pretty fast in a straight line, but that's about it. It is horrible on turning. The turn radius is just horrendous. It takes forever to turn. Um, it takes forever to stop as well, but in a straight line, it is pretty fast. Um, instead of this... I would save up a little bit and get a Ruko. Now they are in two different, totally different classes, but this could be on sale for I think about sometimes it's like almost three hundred dollars or three fifty, so about a little over a hundred fifty dollars more than this one. Or if this is full price, and this is this has the discount, it's about a hundred dollars more. Um, but this one is a lot better. Um, the signal transmission is better. The camera seems to be a lot better as well, and that's about it. Um, I would not buy this drone for the reasons we have listed. Mostly, again, camera and range. Awful.